what's going on. Everybody get in here. Don't know how many people will attend. We're still shadow banned. Everybody hop in here. Welcome, 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 welcome. I don't know if that's not soon. Happy to have you in. It's crazy. They've been uh, shadow banning us like crazy. We have 30 views on our stories. It's nuts. So it's it's. Uh, I guess we must have we must have uh, <laughs> we must have struck a nerve on Instagram. That's I guess the best way to describe it. Because yeah, I I, I we even did a the the Q and A and it, I posted it up and it just it said there's been about 50 people who saw it. So it's it's just crazy. The cens censorship thing is just nuts because the problem is with the censorship on this platform is the fact of that you don't know what will get get you shadow banned or get you censored. Right, you could talk about anything from just drinking organic smoothies to drinking to eating organic to gardening to any anything you can think of, and those things get shadow banned and censored, and then people can't find your page. So I've had a lot of messages this week of people can't find our page, they can't see our page, they can't see our stories, they can't see our posts. You know, it's nowhere to be found, and it's crazy because you know we have usually on average a lot of people who see our stuff, but nobody can see it. So I started putting a lot of stuff up on Telegram. I'm also gonna start doing a lot more with YouTube and doing a lot more stuff with Rumble as well. A lot of people have been asking a lot about electroculture, so I'm gonna be putting together a book with that. I have a book I'm writing as well too. We have new products that we're launching as well with Capsules of Dragon's Blood and Pearl of Dragon's Blood. So that's really exciting. And we'll be putting those up today too as well. But we're excited to launch those because the capsule form is very nice. You can just pop it and you can take it and you can travel with it, which is really nice. And, you know, speaking of traveling, we went to Laguna last week and I pretty much, I think, got radiation poisoning while I was traveling through because I felt under the weather, didn't feel myself, got massive amounts of headaches, just all kinds of things, and took a day to recover. To recover. But the thing is, is it's wild because when I looked up how many cell phone towers were in the area that we were staying, it was actually not as many as here in Scottsdale. So it seems like Arizona and Scottsdale is becoming this target of where they're putting a lot of cell phone towers. There's a quote, according to the map that I was looking at, there's 950 within three miles of where we're at and it's nuts. And they put up probably about 700 of those in the last year or two. So I'm gonna be putting up a video so that I can bring some awareness to this, but what people can do is they can go to this website and then they can look up how many cell phone towers are near them because what we need to do with these platforms is create awareness on how much has been put up in the last two years. Um, and I'm talking two point, there's anywhere from 2.5 to 5 million cell phone towers that have gone up in the last two years. And that's only going to continue with moving into these newer forms of technology. And yes, as you said, same with Vegas. Vegas is just loaded. I mean, that's part of why for myself, you know, I've decided if I'm going to go travel in certain places, I just I, I just can't go to them because I'm not going to risk going into, you know, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 cell phone towers. I mean, some of these airports now have 50,000 cell phone towers. It's insane, 50,000 cell phone towers. So, you know, that's the thing is when we're going and traveling and doing these things, we have to be aware of these things. But the problem is, is if we can't see them, we can't really be aware of them. So I'm gonna put up a video, I'm gonna put up a website that people can go to and you can look it all up. But it was interesting because when we were in Laguna, there was only 150 within the mileage rate radius of the area. And it was actually really calming. And it was, we we're off, obviously at the ocean and it's at the beach and everything else, but it was very calming because when you're not around all of these frequencies, your body gets time to adjust, your body gets time to relax. And the biggest thing we saw of 2020 and 2021 with everybody getting headaches, nosebleeds, you know, nausea, losing their hair. A lot of people losing their hair now because of all the radiation, right? You put cell phone towers every 50 feet. That's what they're trying to roll out every 50 feet. That's gonna cause a lot of radiation damage. So it's important to spread awareness on this topic. And I try to do my best because it's impacted my health. I lived in a building one time that had cell phone towers installed into it. And I couldn't understand why I couldn't sleep. I couldn't function. I was losing weight. I was losing my health. You know, I've, I've gone through these things. So I try to bring awareness to it because when people 
bring awareness, other people can share it and we can spread the information so people can, we can get rid of this stuff. Like it just needs to be taken down, right? These towers need to pretty much go because the problem is, is with all this installation of things, not only is it gonna impact our health, but it's also gonna impact our children, like the children of the children. It's also gonna impact birds, insects, wildlife, and all of those things as well too. So I recommend everybody read the book, The Invisible Rainbow. If you have not read that book, I highly recommend that book. It just goes so in depth of stuff we just haven't been taught about technology and how this technology is not what it seems. And that's why I advocate getting out of nature, consuming different superfoods, and really getting back into it, right? Like go out into nature and hug some trees, touch the trees, touch the earth, you know, get into the water, you know, and, and separate yourself from this, you know, and this is great to connect us and, but we can't let it consume us. It's because the thing is, is if we're letting it consume us, then we're letting this consciously consume us as well too. You know, I will go to, for example, the gym, which I haven't been to in a while now because I just don't feel like I'm even being healthy when you're going there because every person is on a cell phone, every person has AirPods, every person has a watch, every person has a device, and those devices are impacting their health, but they're also impacting my health because I'm being surrounded by that. So, you know, with that whole thing with, you know, with going to the gym, it's just, it's just a change time. And we don't realize how much all of these things can impact our health, so it's important to be aware of that. But it, with going into the gym too, you're in a fake, fake setting, right? There's, it's all plastic, it's rubber, it's fake materials. It's not nature. When you're out in nature and you're connecting yourself into the soil, the dirt, the water, the rain, the leaves, right? It's fall now, right? So you have all the leaves that are falling. All of that is emitting energy, right? And it's, it's balancing out your body. So when you're around, for example, trees that are falling, your body is going through also a detox phase, right? That's why a lot of people, for example, during this time, they end up getting some type of sickness, right? We'll say during this time, the fall, they get a sickness. Reason being is because their body is going through purging. And the, it's the purging of everything so that it can prep itself to get ready for the winter time when it's going to get colder and then the spring time as well. So it's important when you start going out in nature and someone just said it, hiking every day and so much plastic in the gyms. Yeah, the gyms have changed. I used to own a gym. Back in the day, I was in the fitness world. I used to own a big gym. It was all steel. Everything I had was either made out of steel or iron, and that was it. There was no, I did not have plastic cheap garbage inside the facility because when you touch it and it rubs against your bare hands, those materials resonate at a frequency. And that's why even our clothes too, and what we sleep in, all of that resonates at a frequency. So it's important to touch natural materials. And when you're out in nature and you're hiking, you're connecting with nature and you're connecting with the soil and the trees and the plants and all of that beauty. When you go into these artificial fake environments with fake turf and fake grass and fake everything, it just, just feels deadening. You don't just, you don't feel alive. You feel just disconnected. You just feel... Because every, like I said, every person has a device that they have plugged into their ears or just the actual materials in which are being used are all plastics and fake rubbers. And, and then also you have hand sanitizer and sprays. I mean, I watch people, they'll take the bottle and they'll spray down the things like 800 times. Those are loaded with hormone disruptors, different types of petroleum chemicals and all different types of toxins that are being put into the air. So it impacts our health. And it's just something that I noticed. So that's why I say, like I said, it's important to get out in nature and be out there and reconnect. Because even during the fall time when the leaves are falling, there is energy, right? That's what's happening. And it's important to go out and be connected because how about the smartwatches? Yes, so that relates as well too. So and I was going to say the smartwatches, the problem with the smartwatches is that they're causing microwave radiation into the wrist. And you have to think about this, is that this right here, your wrist area, is a meridian line, right? If I take copper and I wrap it around my wrist, I enhance that meridian line. But if I take a microwave device and I wrap it around my wrist, I decrease that meridian line, line as well too. It's starting to impact the blood. So if you notice, uh, let's go into copper with that in relation. So if you go into copper with magnets and you put a copper magnet around your wrist, you'll actually change basically the flow of your, of your blood. And so that's why a lot of people wear those. 
So it's important to get rid of the smartwatch because that's impacting the flow of your blood as well too. And then it's also those lead to the microwave radiation burns that people are getting. You can type up fit watch burn or fit fit yeah fit watch burns and you can see that people have had their um had their wrist burns and because it's burning their skin because it's emitting 2.4 um 2.4 megahertz the entire time so it's actually impacting their their skin and then it's also impacting your brain right because the, the the thing is is what they're trying to do is okay so that in a nutshell and then let me go back to this one that someone was saying so with all these devices what they're trying to do is disable all of our natural senses there was an article that came out last week about military uh, personnel in the army using goggles and they were all getting sick. They all got nauseated, they can't function, they got dizzy. They basically said if we use these devices, we're, we would be gone if there was some sort of you know firefight that they were put into. And that's the problem is these devices, the places in which they're being put into, there's different meridian lines that run inside the body and they're disabling those and impacting them. For example, AirPods, when placed in the ears, are sending out a 2.4 gigahertz, a uh, 2.4 gigahertz, yeah, 2.4, 2.4 gigahertz frequency into the ears and into the side of the, the both sides of this brain. These sides of the brain also uses your logic as well too. So if you cook this side and cook this frontal cortex, you cannot think anymore as well. Now, if they roll out Google Eyes, which is a Google Glasses, which is something they invented about 10 years ago, then that starts to impact the eyes. So they're targeting these senses. You have your hearing, you're not using your hearing anymore, so it starts to go. You're not using your eyes anymore, so it starts to go. And then when you start putting on certain meridian lines on your body as well, then you're impacting the circulatory system that's functioning to detox and go through detox pathways. So that's why all of these smart devices and all these things, honestly, just throw them all out or just, yeah, you drive, that's, I guess, the best way to do it, to throw them out because it's just going to impact your health. And like I said, I've had my health impacted, so it's just not worth any of that stuff. And I remember one time I, I had a pair of Bluetooth headphones that I bought. This was like 10 years ago or five years ago, whatever it was. And I remember every time I would put them on, I wouldn't be able to remember anything of my entire workout. And I thought that was so strange. It was every single time I put them on, I would hear my music, but then I would forget my entire workout. That's what Bluetooth is doing to the mind. It's causing memory loss. It's causing our brain not to be able to function because we are this beautiful electrical being that's being disturbed by electrical devices that run on dirty electric because they use dirty electric to cause illness so that they can make money. We used to have all this free energy. We had all these beautiful devices that emitted frequencies to naturally heal. They suppressed all of those and gave us the ones that make toxic or, in, or induce toxicity to our life. We just got back from our house in Florida after the hurricane pulled all the landscaping. I'm starting all over. We will go back in a couple of weeks, the new landscaping and connect with it. It was sad and traumatic. I could imagine. I mean, and also too, the, a lot of the stuff with the hurricane and everything, not, there's no coverage on any of that, right? They don't post and show anything of what has actually happened. And I've seen so many videos. I've tried to post them up. Our page doesn't get any bread. It doesn't get any views or whatever because of all this shadow banning that's going on, but it's horrible. And yeah, it's there. And, and a lot of the times with these things, these events, you know, they'll do these events, these, these coordinated events. That's what they are. They use technology to change the weather. They use technology to alter our atmosphere, our ionosphere and all of these things so that they can try to come in and rebuild. But they'll try to come in and rebuild with new types of devices and cell phone towers and things like that. That's what the whole t stuff that happened in 2020 and 2021 was with those fires, with all the stuff happening in the cities, with all when things were being burnt down. All of a sudden, there were crews out there trying to put cell phone towers. That area, I'm sorry that it's impacted you guys in your home, and I hope that everything works out. And if you want, we can put up a donation thing, and I'll put it up on our page as well too. But unfortunately, this is what this nonsense that we face, right, on the daily basis, because they basically, if we can't, if we don't comply, then they try to do things to make us comply. That's what it is. And that's what we face every day, right? Like if we're going against something, they're trying to push us in. And that's why when I go into ancient history and I look at all of the stuff that happened in the past, when certain areas were impacted, they used weather warfare in the, back in the day. Like I'm talking, you're going in 2,000, 3,000 years ago, they were using weather warfare as well too. That was the Ark of the Covenant as well. It was, it was a weapon, you know. So when you look into these things, it's like it's nuts. The more you 
dig into this. And these people who are very evil and trying to cause these types of problems for all of us, they use these different types of tactics. If it's not money, if it's not food, if it's not air, if it's not water, if it's not whatever. And unfortunately, you know, with the hurricane situation, it's the same thing, you know, and it's just nuts because, yeah, there. I, I don't know how, what you would say to do other than these people all need to go, right? All these towers need to go and all these people need to go because that's pretty much what it is. These evil people, they just need to be they just need to be gone because there's no other way we cannot have our society functioning with these people who are trying to do all these disturbing things to all of us like even bill gates and whatever and i don't care if it gets censored or shadow banned or whatever again him too same with him get rid of him all these people these people are all evil and they just need to go that's pretty much what it is because the problem is is that they have an inverted way of looking at things i almost think that you would almost at least in my opinion now i've came to the conclusion these people aren't even like human because no human would want to do any of these things to people. It doesn't even make any sense at this point. Like who would, okay, if you have this beautiful apple and it's delicious and it's giving you all these nutrients, why would you invert the apple to turn it into poison? It doesn't even make any sense because when you start to really look at it, it's like you're totally disconnected. And same with all these things they're trying to stick in everybody and all these things they're trying to stick into kids. And I was reading through all the stuff. It's like from zero to 18, all the things that kids get stuck with. It, it, they're not even alive yet. They haven't even been born. Now they're out of the womb and they're getting stuck with things for things that they don't even encounter. It doesn't even make any sense. You have to be twisted in the head or so disconnected from society and humanity and being a human to actually have love and compassion to create something like this. It, it, that's why I started to realize I've had this whole, I guess it's this epiphany this week of just thinking about these things. Like there's a beautiful hummingbird on my tree right now and he's just sitting there and he comes over and he drinks out of a little thing and I don't understand. Why would you want to destroy his home and his habitat and his life? It doesn't make any sense unless you are so disconnected. And that's what I've learned is you learn more into love, compassion, connecting to nature, all of this stuff, it doesn't make a lot of sense unless these people are just, they're, I don't know, they're just definitely not part of us, that's for sure, because it doesn't make any sense. I try to spread as much love and joy and happiness and solutions as much as we can, and it's like, but they're always trying to create nonsense. And even same stuff with this printing of meat that they're trying to do and whatever else, it's like, you're just trying to take your poison that we didn't buy over here, now turn it into this and try to remarket it and rebrand it. It was similar to with the microwave and trying to sell us the microwave when nobody wanted it anymore. Then they started selling people the air fryer. And that was like that alternative. So, you know, we always have to just start looking at the past. And I realized when you start looking at the past more and more, you know, they've been doing these tactics over and over again, but it takes to the people to taking a stand and saying, we're not gonna be a part of that. We're gonna grow our own food. We're gonna make our own independence. We're gonna create our own communities. We're gonna understand rules and, and laws and common law and all of that as well too. We're going to start our own things. And that's what people have to start doing because that's the separation that's going to change things. Otherwise, we continue in this perpetual cycle and they keep trying to do more stuff. And while they're while we're looking over here, they're trying to do something over here. And that's the same thing going on. We have all the, you know, the, the election stuff coming up and whatever else, blah, blah, blah. It's the same thing. It's always the same thing. You have one good person, one evil person, and then it just keeps flipping. And one person comes in and they're, they're, they're the, you know, the super person. And then the next person does this, all the opposite. And then they're like, oh my God, it's the same tactics over and over. One side, other side, flipping and flopping. So we have to go and step back and say, well, I just don't agree on any of this. And I'm going to go do my own path. And then we are all going to do our own path together. And that's what I see right now happening with the electroculture movement, which has been huge. I'm so happy to see all the messages. I get the people's gardens just going crazy. The one lady the other day, she had cauliflower that's like bigger than my head and everything like these are things we can be doing. There are solutions that can be done. And even to relating back to Michelle with the hurricane situation, maybe this would be a good time to rebuild with using natural materials. It would be cheaper and then your house can be built out of natural materials. It's almost, you know, sometimes we have to look at sometimes as destruction as a rebirth or recreation, like creating something of new. And it's interesting because we build, right, all of these places that have been built, like they're building new complexes down the street, 
they're building, building, building. It's just, it's crazy. But they build it out of fake synthetic materials, plastics, polymers, petroleums, all these things that we don't resonate with, all these things that have horrible frequencies that emit positive ions, which impact our health. Now it's time to start rebuilding and buying up land or rebuilding things with natural materials, using clays, using hemp, using you know all different types of materials. That's what we need to start doing as well too. And I feel like that's just part of this. And that's, it's just the part of everything, but we have to start really understanding thing at a resonance and frequency and even with what we consent to, right? Like our page, like I was saying about getting censored, it gets censored all the time because we're trying to provide solutions, but it's wild. I can go onto social media and see the most craziest things and things that are perverted, things that are messed up. And those things will keep showing up on these platforms. So we have to be aware of what we're consciously consuming all the time while using these platforms and use them for the good rather than use them for what they want us to share, right? They will put up these videos and make them go crazy because they want us to share them. They want us to be engaged into this, this, this system thing so that they can get their information and data and emotions and frequency and everything else. But we just can't be a part of it because it's just that simple. You just have to say no. And that's it. And that's how it will happen in 2020 and 2021, where when people tell you you need to do something, you just say, no, that's it. I'm not going to do it. And that's what we have to do. And if something bothers you, you need to tell them it bothers you because we've been, we've been, we're being desensitized over and over and over again to make all of the stuff seem completely normal when it's not. And even when you go out in nature, you see how everything works. You see how the world works and just being in nature, you see how trees work and birds and how life is and everything. And all is there and they're trying to use these platforms to desensitize us to all these different weird things because they want us to make it feel like it's normal and it's all perfectly normal and it's not and that's not how nature works and nature was not designed that way so i guess that's my rant on that and whatever let me see what else we got on here thoughts on turquoise turquoise is very healing it was used in native american culture and it's also used in atlantean culture as well too they also used a lot of bronze and brass and copper, which is really cool. And it's interesting because until the Iron Age, they actually did not use any turquoise. I was reading up on this as well, too. They used a lot of turquoise back then because the copper and the copper carbonate that's inside of it. But it's a very healing, powerful stone. And I highly recommend everybody wearing turquoise or some sort of copper as well, too. But it was interesting, this book I was reading or this uh, video I was video no it was a book I was a book I was reading the other day and they were talking about how the iron age was the introduction of all the inversion that people were facing so before that they had druids they had shamanism and they had druids shamans and I think they're called the Chal uh, Chaldeans I think it's called Deans but they were magis basically and those people all used bronze copper turquoise crystals stones they understood the stone frequency. They built Stonehenge. They understood if you take stones and stack them on top of each other, that you create piezoelectric effects, which is what I've been testing out recently so that I can help increase crop growth and do all of these things. But it's fascinating because once the Iron Age came along, right about at that time, all of that stuff was pretty much kind of destroyed and decimated for the next 2,000 years. And they pr produced tons and tons of iron and said iron was the new thing and it's the best for you. But the people at the time during the copper or the bronze age, they understood that bronze, bronze and copper was actually really good for the soil because it did not impact the magnetism of the soil. And that's that whole inversion we've had where they've sold us copper tools because copper tools diminish the life force of the soil. That's why when people start to use uh, iron tools onto the soil, then what happens is, is the life of the, of the soil starts to die. So what we need to start doing is we need to start bringing copper and bronze back into our soil. And also you can use turquoise as well too, or quartz crystals, or you can use different types of stones. And you need to put those in alignment in your backyard and also around your garden. Because what you're going to do is you're going to increase the frequency. And then you can also wear that on your body, right? Turquoise on your body. I found a really cool uh, turquoise necklace the other day that I thought I was going to buy. But, um, you know, you have to wear these certain stones and crystals and things on your body because they resonate at a frequency that's very healthy for the body. And also depending on your astrological sign, which we could go into that as well, too. But also depending on your astrological sign, you know, you resonate at certain frequencies to certain planets and certain things. We have a eclipse coming up in like two weeks, which is going to make energy off the charts. That's what's going to happen. 
But all of these different stones all resonate at certain frequencies that are actually very healing. And sometimes you can use certain stones like turquoise to get rid of bad omens. You can also use black tourmaline. You can use quartz. You can use shungite. You can use malachite. You know, there's a lot of different things that are we need to bring back around to us because we've disconnected from that. Right? We have, like I said, the fake materials, fake, fake everything. You got plastic, plastic. Everything's made out of plastic. Talk about a frequency. It's just the, it's the neg, it's a negative frequency that harms our health. And everything they're trying to do is built out of it or made out of it or whatever else. Even in the piping, right? Back in the day, the pipes used to be made out of copper because they were very beneficial to our health, to our eyes, to our brain, to our ligaments, to our skin. Now they're plastic. And also too, they build. Now, if you want to talk about going back into people who are disconnected, right? And building canals and all of these things, they build things in straight lines, right? Nature doesn't work like that. Nature is always curved. It's like a, literally like a snake or like a serpent or like whatever word you would like to call it. That's how nature always is. If I look at this tree, it's always spiraling. That's how we have to start building and that's how we have to start connecting. So even if you're assembling things in your backyard using electroculture or stones or crystals, you should try to assemble them in a spiraling vortex or something that's spiraling because that's the natural frequency of the earth. We don't build in straight lines. This is all of this, like these little lines right here and all of this, this is not natural. This is nothing's ever built that way. And this is actually the most unstable way to build because this is the most easiest thing to tip over because the way that it's built. So it's interesting because when you start looking into shapes and dimensions and signs and all this other stuff and crop circles, which are also banned as well on Google. But when you start looking at all of these things, you start understanding, hmm, certain things resonate at certain frequencies and shouldn't we be mimicking nature? That's what Victor Schauberger said. Victor Schauberger said we should be mimicking nature instead of going against nature. I mean, we, do, we, we cut down trees to replant them, right? We, 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 we dig out areas to rebuild on top of them and then put the same thing back on top of it. It's, it's completely illogical. But the system has programmed everybody to believe that that is completely logical, right? Like we, we'll just cut down all these trees and then we'll replant new baby trees and those, re, those new plant, planted trees will fix the solution of these trees that were hundreds and thousands of years old. And that's partly tied or, or partly tied to the old world history, right? When you go into old world history, there's a lot of stuff that used to be in America. There's a lot of sacred places. There's lots of trees that used to be massive. There's lots of pyramids also in America. There's a lot of stuff in America that is just never talked about because it's been destroyed so that they can invert it and then sell us back some garbage, like rubber shoes, right? They sold us all the rubber shoes and plastic shoes because they know that that's the connection to your soul. Right, your soul, S O L E. That's also that's also salt water. You can make soul, S O L E, or your soul of your body. And that's interesting that all of those terminologies, when you flip them, they're all on your feet. Why? Because your feet connects to the earth, which connects right to Mother Earth, which increases your frequency. So we've been sold this whole bait and switch of switching things and then making it seem normalized. Like I said in the beginning, with the desensitizing people to make it seem that all of this is perfectly normal. And it's even happened with all of this cell phone nonsense and these lights and all these LED lights that they're rolling out. And people have, there's people, you can meet them. They're an expert, we'll say, or professional. And they will say it's perfectly safe. And the reason being is because we've been programmed to believe it's perfectly safe. But when we actually look at all the studies and all the people who've been harmed, it's a completely different thing. So it's interesting because if you also look at black tourmaline, that's also a great one for EMF protection as well, too. So there's all these different things that we need to start incorporating and bringing back into our home. And that was the whole point of this with turquoise is that there are things we need to start bringing back into our home so that we have these natural vibrations and frequencies that are very healing for our body. Because when we're surrounded by fake frequencies and fake materials and fake plas and plastics and all this other stuff, we're going to turn into that. And that's why even like simple solution, which we'll go with it, copper, right? Shrinking out of copper different types of materials, maybe eating out of stone, right? If you get a stone, uh, different types of stone plates or stone cups, or maybe doing something out of wood or different types of materials, right? Switching up the materials that you're using. I've seen brass silverware, which is really interesting. Silver, silverware, that used to be a really popular one. Everybody used to use that. Linens, right? Using linen, using cotton, using wool, using kapok, 
You know, there's a lot of different materials in which we can be bringing into our home that can be very healing and resonating at the body and getting rid of all the ones we were talking about also in the beginning, which was polyester, plastic, polyurethane, nylon, synthetic things, whatever it may be, all the stuff that they try to sell us. We just have to slowly replace each one. But you'll start to notice that your energy will uplift and your brain will start working better because all of these things resonate at a frequency. And that's why when we go out into nature, same thing happens, right? You go out into nature, you just sit there and you just look at something and you can just start to connect. And we have to go back into that because we've lost that connection and you can see it because you there might be a, let's say an insect falling on the ground and I'm trying to pick it up with a leaf so I can save it to try to help it. But the person next to me might have AirPods in and they might be completely disconnected and not even notice that. And that's what's happening is we've lost that connection where we need to be paying attention. Even going in your car, right? If you go in your car tomorrow or whatever, you decide to go for a drive or whatever else, just turn everything off. Turn off your radio, turn off your cell phone, turn off all your devices and just drive in your car with nothing on. I'll, I'll tell you, it's it's wild. It's Your brain will just go, it will just think, you'll just be thinking about things. Traffic won't be so bad, you won't be so stressed out, you know, everything else, and you won't be pinging frequencies into your car. But just simple things like that. These things can start to resonate the brain better to open up creativity, open up different pathways, and open up thought, right? Because a lot of these devices, as somebody was asking in the beginning about smart watches and all of these, they're d diminishing our thought process and our ability to basically calculate, right, on both sides, whether it's emotional or whether it's logic as well, too. So we need to go back to connecting into thought and then also writing things down, planning and organizing, using that part of the brain as well too, right? Because we have technology that's trying to do everything for us. You have little vacuum robots that are trying to vacuum the whole entire house. But what happens is, is then your body's not using your brain to go through those anymore. So this was a long rant on turquoise and all crystals and frequency and everything else, but it all relates, right? It's all connected, even all the clothing that we wear as well too. It's all connected, the, in the metal we wear as well too, all of these things. And a lot of them will get a bad name, right? Tin used to get a really bad name because of supposedly the heavy metals and everything else. But tin also has a lot of phosphor, phosphorus in it, which actually is really great for plant life. So it's interesting to connect these dots of why certain things were used at certain ages and then when certain things were inverted and taken over, then they started selling other things and trying to give us different things. And that also relates to materials. So if you're wearing different types of jewelry, you can also wear different types of materials on your body and they will resonate at different frequencies depending on what's going on up in the sky, which is why also they spend billions of dollars trying to put this nonsense up in the sky of aluminum, barium, strontium and all this other stuff because it disconnects us from the beautiful astrological signs that we've been connected to and all the stars that are above us. Because back in the day, the, the, the cultures and the druids and the shamans and all the different magi and all them, they were connected into the sky. I mean, I've been studying, if you put out a rock right on a certain spot and you can study exactly, exactly 28 days every single time based on that rock. And that rock will resonate at a certain frequency based on that period of time going through. So you can be aware of this. It's like, it's called, I would say it, not called, but it's like in the stone age time, that's what they were doing. They were tracking the sun, tracking the moon, tracking the planets, and you could just do it just using nature. And you don't even need a watch or anything. You can just be aware and know exactly what's coming and what's ahead. And then you can pick up on the energy because you can hear it in the plants, the birds, the bees, the insects, and all of nature, right? You'll all of a sudden, comes to a full moon and when it's coming up and the eclipse, it's going to get real loud outside. Everybody's going to be out. They're all going to be out on the street. But then also the birds get loud, but the insects get louder. And then as the moon starts to go away and the moon starts to go into its waning phase, then everybody gets real calm. They get real quiet. They get real peaceful because now that energy is starting to go away and the moon is starting to move. So it's all frequencies and it all relates to turquoise as we were originally talking about in the beginning. Let me see what else we got in here. Just got kicked off your live. That sounds right. Yeah. Welcome to the shadow band. They, they obviously don't want people seeing any of this. I was getting eye twitches. I was getting twitches in my eyes. Just came out of nowhere. Stop using the wireless headphones. Yeah. And that's the thing. So it will ping, right? It's pinging. So whether it's a headphone, the, uh, the headphone is connected into the eye. And then you have all the nerves and everything connected into there as well, too. So this, no matter what, it's... And, and they got these like little stickers and all that. It's all just nonsense but they got these little stickers you can put on them it's goofy 
But the thing is, is that's pinging through the nerves, right? You have all your nervous system that runs through your eyes and that will ping through that. And then also on top of that, you know, it's a simple one is like you just said, is it came out of nowhere. That's the easiest way to say that something's happening. But it's interesting because all of our science will say that's not true. It's just placebo. You're having a placebo effect. But in reality, you're having the effects that they're trying to tell you, but they will try to tell you it's not. So it's good that you got rid of them. And just, yeah, use wire, wired headphones. And then with the watch, just toss it, honestly, because it's not even worth putting it onto your body because your cells are precious. Your red blood cells are precious. Your skin's precious. And your this organ right here, your skin, is your largest detox organ. So when the skin stops working as well or the blood stops flowing as well, which you can go like that and you can feel electric right down your arm. But when those things stop flowing as well, your de detox pathways also shut down. So then it's harder for you to recover. If you have a wound, this was what's crazy with wireless radiation and all of the radiation things that they try to roll out. When people get injured, it takes them three to four times to recover. So if you got a knee issue, you got a shoulder issue, you got a back issue, the wireless radiation will actually slow down your ability to recover. Now, if you go walk out on nature and you put your feet bare in the earth, now you'll get all that radiation off and you'll heal like this. That's why if you look back, they had the wind runners, Native Americans wind runners, they'd run barefoot through the through nature. That's why they could just pretty much keep running because they're connecting to the earth frequency and they're healing and they're also getting all the static off. There was static back then too. You had comets and asteroids and all these different things that arrays in the sky. Those things also produced radiation as well back then during that time. Love the Shilajad, happy to hear. We just launched the Shilajad tablets and they've been selling like crazy, so I'm excited for that. And if you haven't tried them, they're awesome. You just pop them, take two a day, and I'm good to go. And I don't have to even mix anything or anything. I just take my two and then drink my coffee with a little raw milk, some brown sugar, and it's delicious. But I'm excited for those and I'm working on some new things. We just launched our pearl and capsules, pearl and dragon's blood capsules as well. And then I'm working on something with black ginger necks, which is really gonna be cool. EMF clothing, you gotta be careful with EMF clothing just to make sure that it's not made out of polyester. So that's, I would put that out there. A lot of people have been asking me about grounding mats and different clothing and all this other stuff. It's got polyester, it's collecting a static charge. The devices that they use will show that there's a static charge or that there's no static charge on there, but that's because the devices cannot measure the, the, the actual frequency that polyester gives off. And it's interesting because we don't have, or we do have, I should say, but those technologies have been suppressed. The devices that show frequency and, and different types of frequencies in which are being emitted, such as clothing like polyester, those types of devices are usually like 5000 or $10,000. And it's interesting because it's like, why is that price so high? Well, because that could expose all of the nonsense that we face. So it's interesting with that. So if you're looking at clothing or anything with that, or even just materials, make sure it is no polyester, no polyurethane, no plastics, none of that. Because it's like wearing a garbage bag. Let's see what else we got on here. Got a bunch of people joining. This is great. I'm happy to see everybody got in here. Thank you for all that you offer. We fared much better than the others and have good insurance and we will start over. I'm happy. I'm happy to hear that it's positive. I, I try to turn it into a positive. And if you want to do anything with donations, I'm more than happy to put it up there because honestly, like I said, there was no, there's no coverage on any of the stuff happening in Florida. And that's because Florida went against 2020 and 2021, right? They were open. They stayed open. Uh, the, the whole thing, they don't want any of the nonsense. They don't want any of the stuff going into kids. They don't want any of that. And they don't like that because that's not going along. For example, we go back to Illinois, which is originally where I'm originally from. Illinois just passed another law to continue the nonsense for like another 300 days or something. It's it's insane. It's been like it's been like four years and it still continues. So if you go along with it, you know, then they like all that. But I, I'm, I'm happy to see that Florida was against all of that and that the people of Florida said we're not we're against it. And the people of Florida will gather together and they will rebuild and they will be better. That's how it always goes, because sometimes, like I said, even with destruction, it brings people together. People lose a lot of the stuff of the materialistic stuff that they maybe didn't even need, you know, and even with us, we're very minimal, We've always been very minimal. We got rid of a lot of stuff and it's better that way because a lot of the stuff, it's just like, why am I holding on to this? What am I collecting this for? Where am I bringing it? Am I using it? It's been sitting here for maybe 10 years. I haven't touched it. And that could maybe go to somebody else or somebody else's home or whatever, but 
sometimes that also ca causes people to come together as well because then they rebuild together and you never know what will come from it. And that's what needs to happen sometimes, unfortunately. I mean, it's just, it's just part of the cycle. It's just like fall right now. We got all the leaves that are gonna fall off. It'll become winter time and then spring will come. People will be doing electroculture. Their gardeners are gonna be just booming like no other people are gonna be doing massive amounts of food. And we're gonna see that energy skyrocket and it's gonna be the biggest gardening year uh, we will ever see. And I guarantee it because I already can see it happening as we speak and it's awesome and I love it. And between that, all the new stuff that we got coming up and everything else, it's gonna be an awesome year. And I can't wait to do it with all of you guys as well and to just share more information that I learned and put it out there so that it can help you guys as well too. Agree, agree. Yes, they have no conscious of love. Yes, exactly. I don't think they're connected into love as love at all. I think they need a hug, right? I mean, Bill Gates probably needs a hug. Like you probably are totally, you know, just disconnected and you need a hug. Like you just need some love and to help and just someone to tell you a good thing. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe they were raised that way because they go through so many twisted things and they go through all this weird rituals and ceremonies and all kinds of strange stuff that's not even normal whatsoever. So maybe it just made them turn out that way. And then they think that that's completely normal, but it's like, it's not. So, you know, it's just, I guess it's just part of everything. And that's a part of duality or as above, so below, you know, the whole thing, yin and yang, like everything that we face, it's like, cause because without seeing another side, we maybe wouldn't see that side. And that's just how it goes as well too. So I've realized it's just, it's part of how this 3D experience is, you know, and that's just what it is. Why questions? It's a sad world. They're probably, they could be robot. They could be clones. Yeah, that's actually true. I, 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 I can see that. They could be that, they could be robots, you know? I mean, they do really weird stuff, you know? So I feel like that, and you see a lot of times, a lot of these celebrities, they're always like twitching and doing all kinds of weird stuff. So they could be also like MK Ultra programmed and whatever. Honestly, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised. Cause remember when, let's go back in time, 1992, you had that sheep being cloned. Remember they were like cloning the sheep, but they decided not to clone the sheep or whatever, because they said they didn't want to bring any of that, which is interesting cause they clone animals for factory farming and stuff like that but could be some weird clone stuff or who really knows you know they could be from out of this place but they're definitely not part of the frequency that we're resonating at that's why i feel like they try to disconnect all of us they use all of this nonsense and everything else to try to impact us and invert our way of thinking because we're thinking i'm thinking in a positive manner and they're trying to do it the opposite you know, so that's a, yeah, Dolly, that's a, that's the one. It was the first clone sheep. Now it's probably not the first because they probably had the technology in the 1950s, but it's, yeah, it's interesting because that's always a common one as well too. That was their way to let us know that their plan, they would tell us and tell us just like in the movies. Yeah, and that's the thing, they use all that stuff. That's why I stopped watching all that. Stop watching anything that's produced by Holly, Holly Weird and all their weird stuff and all the other stuff because all it is is it's just to keep just enforcing these weird things into our brains and then to also expose our consciousness to something we don't need to be exposed to. Because the problem of when we're exposed to these things is that we manifest those frequencies, right? We are creators. We're infinite consciousness and creators. So what happens is, is they start to show us these videos so that we can then manifest that and create that and bring it to life. So they show us in this movie like, oh, this is what's gonna happen. Reason being is because then when it starts t starting to sort of happen or whatever it may be, we manifest that to bring it to life. And then that creates it into the spectrum. Just like you can say with anything of weird things that happen just in the, in, in the world, we manifest those things into it. And we just don't look at that because we're all interconnected. Our thoughts are all interconnected between each other. That's why we're all in this video thing right now. But even our thoughts are also connected through this device. And then my thoughts are also connected to all these people driving past me as well too. We just don't see that because we're not taught these things. Because if we were taught that if we talk about abundance, positivity, manifesting, all these great creations, then we would have everything, right? But if we're taught to be in fear and we're taught to have scarcity mindset and we're now the Mississippi River is running out because that's what they're talking about now. Like the, the river is running out. The Mississippi, the, the Mississippi of the gigantic Mississippi is really running out of water. Like it's just goofy. They just make up stuff. Lake Mead didn't work out because there's water coming into it and it's getting refilled and the, the levels were actually going back up. And then all the primary water videos that got, I think, I think I got like 2 million views on those. But all of that really put a tangent 
on their topic and their stories. And it's funny because USA Today actually reached out to me to say, what proof do I have? And I gave them their own articles from 2014 and 2016. And then they didn't respond back. But so I guess that kind of got kiboshed. So then they now are trying to focus their energy on Mississippi River and that the Mississippi River is running out. Even though it's just crazy because the water is never running out. We have unlimited amounts. It's always there. It's always being created. If it's not here, it's somewhere over here and whatever else. But it's just it's silly. But what's funny about all the stuff with the lakes and all of the things about the uh, lake situation is the fact of that all of these these things are coming out, right? You have all of these like towns and like little fake, not fake towns, but like ghost towns and all of these things, all of those are coming out. Like people, they showed in one of the rivers, I think it was by Lake Mead or something, there's a ghost town and I got a video of it, of towns showing that they used to be there. So now the question is, is who's gonna come in there and say what those are, right? Why were those lakes and all of those things placed on top or man-made lakes placed on top of these towns? What were they hiding? So even if the rivers or whatever are supposedly going dry and they're trying to tell us and whatever else, there's a lot of information that's gonna come out. And that was happening also in the Bermuda area, Bermuda Triangle, you can look into this. I think it's called uh, Bimini, Bimini? I think it's called Bimini, yeah. There's an area next to the Bermuda Triangle where there's pyramids all down there from the Atlantis times. And what happened was, was when people were going out and exploring and doing all their scuba diving and doing all those things, all of a sudden, people started picking up on all these pyramids and crystals that were all down in there. So with all this water that's getting lower levels, people are gonna start seeing stuff that they didn't know used to exist there. And it's gonna open up people's eyes to the history in which we've been taught his story, which has all been falsely created and made up and everything else. But people are gonna to start to catch on to that and that's gonna open up people's eyes even more because now the history books are gonna to have to try to explain why there were towns underneath these man-made lakes. And then if they were man-made, why were they destroyed and why are they underneath the lake? So it's interesting. Thanks for sharing all your information about primary water. I'm no longer freaked out about the lack of water. Yes, and, and trust me, at one time, I, I saw all the news, I saw all the media. You know, it's a spell, like somebody was just saying earlier. It's a spell that they're trying to cast newscasters, which is northeast, north, northeast, east, south, and west, you know, the whole thing and everything else. And it's interesting because with the whole water thing, I remember seeing all that and it was like, oh my gosh, you know, the water, what are we going to do? And it's like, now you just look at it, I can just go take some sticks, literally to some dousing rods. I can walk out into my backyard and I can find water today. You know, it's it's that simple. It's It's really that simple. And that's part of also going back to connecting to nature, right? And I'm going to do a video on that one as well, too, of how they refilled Lake Elsinore using dousers and dousing rods. And why did dousing rods get such a bad rep? It's interesting. Why did dousing rods get such a bad rep? Because dousers and dousing rods disconnected people from the king or the people who were in charge at that time, right? Because you could take your dousing rods and you can go out into the middle of nature and you could find whatever you needed to find and you didn't need your king or your royal highness anymore or majesty or whoever it may be, whoever they try to appoint you to but you didn't need them because you could find the materials yourself. You could find water, you could find gold, you could find silver, you could find copper, you could find ley lines, you could find all of that with dousing rods, but dousing rods were considered as doing witchcraft and voodoo, dangers, shamanism, whatever else, because of the fact that they disconnected people from the system and allowed them to have their own independence away from it. And this whole book that I was reading into, they talked about how Lake Elsinore, that's what they did. They got a dowser to come out and they put him out in the backyard of Lake Elsinore and he found water and his wells at that time were releasing 5,000 gallons per minute. And the state of California originally did not want to talk about this because it's basically how he got the water back. So they said no. And then 10 years later, they had him come, or I think it was a couple years later, they had him come out again, and he did the same thing, except for this time the wells were producing 15,000 gallons per minute, and they refilled Lake Elsinore. And the whole reason that Lake Elsinore actually went down was because they built a dam in there. 
And why do they build these dams? They build these dams to get rid of the energy, the lifeline, the frequency of the earth. And I'm sure the Mississippi River's got some dams in there too as well that have been disconnecting all those beautiful primary water spots that have been going into that river this entire time so that they can now try to say the Mississippi River's running low. But they build these dams because they want to disconnect the frequency of life of earth so that they can sell us something to replace it. Right? There's always an adapter to an adapter. That's how I always say it. You always see like they got adapters to adapters. They get rid of something so that they can resell it back with three other parts. Because if they just gave it to you for free, like Nikola Tesla created or John Keeley in the 1800s, if they gave it to you for free, they wouldn't be able to profit and make any money on it. So that's pretty much the whole point of why free energy never came around because JP Morgan Chase and all those little people and their little henchmen and banks and everything else basically decided that we need to not allow people to get free things and we need to put a meter on it so we can make money on it. Otherwise, we're not going to make any profit. And that's why all the free energy was suppressed and all of these things were suppressed. But the fun part is, is in the age of truth, because that's what's happening right now, we're in the age of truth, all the information will keep coming out and it will spread faster and faster because that's the power of having the internet. As much as they try to say the internet traps us and could steals all my data and blah, blah, blah. It's also connecting me faster than ever because I can connect with all of you guys and all new people I've never met and I can help people across the world. And I have people now on our Telegram channel from all over the world doing electroculture, trying our mushrooms, trying our shilajot, healing, doing all of these things. And that's the difference. That's what cannot be stopped. And that's why even with the shadow ban and the censoring, I really don't care. I've realized it is what it is and you're gonna shadow ban and censor me as much as information as I keep putting out because the fact that it's impacting their sales or their profits or their agenda, and that's just what it is because that's what we need to do. We need to take a stand, whether it's sharing, whether it's putting out information, whether it's whatever it may be, bringing forth the truth because when the truth comes out, they can't keep lying. And that's why the whole thing of this related to with the primary water situation is that when we were look at primary water, they tried to pull the thing with Lake Mead. It didn't work, so now they're moving toward the Mississippi River. Then when the Mississippi River thing doesn't work, they're gonna to move to the East Coast and try to say that like New York and Delaware and Massachusetts is gonna run out of water. They're just gonna make up another one, you know? Cause like, that's the thing, they just make up another one and then somehow they'll move it back down to Florida because Florida was against the agenda. So now they're running out of water, you know? And they'll try to pull some scheme like that and whatever else. They can't, they can't water the oranges cause there's no water, but it's like, there's the more, there's almost, there's almost more lakes, I believe, in Florida than half the country. You know, it's 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 funny. It's a lot of information. So somebody was asking, do you have a backup account on Instagram? So there is. It's Cultivate Elevate 2. And I'm probably going to make another account. Probably just going to start making multiple accounts and just have tons of them and just keep posting all over until Instagram just doesn't like that anymore. But it is what it is. And then also we have Telegram, we have YouTube, and we have Rumble. And it's all Cultivate Elevate. So you can just find us on there and just add, just join in the group and you can just see all the stuff. And I put a lot of stuff. I just post whatever. I put up different articles that I found. I put up different PDFs. I put up different things that I find and I just put it together and put it up there because like I said, it's better to put everything all over the place because that's just what it is. I mean, you put it even up on Pinterest too as well, but it's good to put everything everywhere because then it's just getting it out there, all this information because the whole reason that they have any forms of control is that we have only a selected amount of platforms and a selected amount of information. But as we can put out information all over the place, it makes a huge difference because now the information's out there no matter what, and it's on all different platforms. So we do have a bunch. What about the diesel shortage and its effect on farming and other things? Well, what will happen with the diesel shortage, if it actually is occurring, and if they are telling the difference, and I'll hit on this one and I'll probably be out of here because it's gonna be dark. but. We will learn different alternatives to farming, number one, because that's what happens. It creates a different type of way of how we have to do it. Just like we had a pesticide shortage and then electroculture basically went crazy, right? Because if there's no pesticides, got to use something else and we got to do it the natural way. So with the diesel thing, I think that could happen or it could just be fake. It could just be a bunch of nonsense that they're trying to tell us that it's going to run out. Just like gas was going to run out uh, last year. Remember there was the gas shortage, plenty of gas still pumping at the gas stations and whatever. So I think just a bunch of things and ways that will occur that will try to make us into these fearful tactics. But I think life will go on as well too. Please connect with Mitch, the Oregon donor. His copper pipes are a must. Love you, man. 
Thank you. We're, we're actually, you want to laugh? We talk on the phone and we're great friends and whatever. And we will do a podcast together because we, we do connect on a lot of things and we're always shooting. I'm texting him, telling him, you got to look into this and do this and try this with the organ pipes and everything else. He's a great soul and he's doing great work with all the stuff that he's doing and everything he's done. I mean, it's honestly, <laughs> Arizona's as green as can be. It's, it's wild to go out on the mountains and see green trees, you know, like it's, it's crazy. So he's doing a great job and he's a great soul and uh, happy to call him one of my good friends, but I definitely will connect with him. We'll do a podcast or something together so we can bounce all the stuff information or whatever else and back and forth or whatever so that we can put it out there. But I think that's it. Let me see if there's any more in here. I'll just scroll back. This live was a good one. Television. Yep. Television programming, magic spells. Let me see. Ba, ba, ba. I think that's it. Yeah. Try to cover a whole bunch of stuff, but you know, like I said, what rings are you wearing? Copper. That was what somebody was asking. We got copper. And I just make them myself. And I hear it's a recession coming. And yeah, they just try to put the fear. You know, it's always a recession. It's always a recession. It's always the end of this. It's always the end of that. It's always the end of whatever they try to tell us. But in reality, I'm still here. We're still here. We're breathing. We're still all of this. And they'll, it's interesting because even with the shortages thing, with the food shortages, if you notice how all the food was running out and now how all the food is here, right? You go back to the grocery store, it's there again. So it's interesting because they were actually just holding a lot of that food in the warehouses in the back. And then now they had to sell it off at a fraction of the cost, right? And that's exactly what somebody just said, the Scott, they feed off our fear, exactly. They want us to resonate at that fear frequency so they can harvest that energy because they're so disconnected and so inverted to the world that they want us to get into a fearful mindset so that they can put us into a, a frequency so they can harvest that energy. But if we don't consent and we don't say, I'm going to be a part of it and I'm just really not worried about it and I'm not going to be any of this, then they don't have any power anymore. And then they don't know what to do. So then they start trying to call us all kinds of things. Like I said, like the Mississippi's running out and then the earth is doing this and whatever else. They always try to say it's the end of the world, end of the world. And it's not. It's just, in my opinion, it's new beginnings, new awakenings, and new truths coming out of information that has always been here, but it's just been suppressed for a really long time. And it's just going to keep coming out more and more. And now you can't hold that suppressed information out because there's too many people putting out the truth now. And we've never had this many people putting out the truth at the same time, bringing forth all this information. And it's awesome to see. And I see it every single day. And I'm glad to see it because that's the thing that needs to happen to change the tides and change the turn so that things start to shift towards this. We had all this chaos over here and you know, it's the end, blah, 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 like someone just said. And now we're having moving towards this side as well too. So I think we hit on all of them. Someone said, I heard it's the end, blah, blah, blah. We don't really need them. Yeah, and they need us, exactly. They need us and they need our frequency. And we vibrate at a very powerful frequency. And that's why back related to 2020, 2021, why were they doing six feet, right? You gotta stay six feet apart because our aura is about six feet and they want us to disconnect from our each other's aura so that our energy can't be. And we're not going to do that. We're going to come together we're going to get together, we're going to communicate, we're going to have events, we're going to be in person with each other, we're going to connect with each other. And that's a thing they cannot stop. And then also all like I said, all the truth and all this information coming forward, that has never came forward before, at least at this fast and such a short amount of time, because the internet can cause that, right with the connections of being worldwide, you can change everything. When we are disconnected, and it's only in small towns, and it's only one person or two people or whatever, that slows us down. Now we have the opposite effect happening, which is the amplification effect of all this information getting out. So I wish you guys all the best. I'm happy you got to join the live and I'm happy that we still got a bunch of people in here today, no matter how much they shadow ban and censor us and you know try to delete any of our posts and everything. So I wish you guys the best. We will be launching the Dragon's Blood Pearl capsules probably within the next 24 hours. If you have any questions about that, just let me know. Shilja tablets are live. And then if you have any questions about any of our products, our mushrooms, our tremella, our six mix, our cordyceps, any of that, just let me know, or even anything related to electroculture or primary water. But I wish you guys all the best and I wish you guys all a great rest of your week. And I will see you next Monday. Until next time.